Hello everyone and welcome back to the next lecture of control systems. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the sensitivity of control system. So let's get started. We will first see the definition of sensitivity. It is a measure of change in system response with respect to change in input or any other parameter of the system. So if we are having a system and we are changing the input of the system or any other parameter of the system, then the measure of change in system response is called as the sensitivity. Now let us understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we are having a vehicle, this vehicle we are having and this vehicle is having a power steering. Now consider a situation that you are driving this vehicle and you rotate the steering, then what will happen? The car will rotate accordingly. And in case of a power steering, the car will rotate smoothly. So in this case, the power steering signifies the input given to a system and this system is our vehicle, that is our car and the rotation of vehicle is the response of the system. Now let us assume one more thing that the mileage of this car is 25 kilometers per liter. Now as the age of the vehicle increases, the mileage decreases, we all know that. Now again consider a situation that the age of this vehicle is 10 years now and the mileage decreased to 20 km per liter. Initially, when the vehicle was new, the mileage was 25 km per liter, but now, when the vehicle is 10 years old, the mileage decreased to 20 km per liter. That is, the mileage of this vehicle decreased. Now, this age of vehicle, if we consider, is a parameter of a system, and the decreasing mileage of this system is the response of this system again. Now let us understand the significance of this example. In the first case, the rotation of power steering signifies the input given to the system and the rotation of car is the response of the system. Now here, we want the car to rotate whenever we rotate the steering. That is, a good system should be sensitive with respect to the input. In the second case, the age of the vehicle represents a parameter of the system. It is not the input of the system, it is a parameter of the system. And as the age of the vehicle increases, we discuss the mileage of the vehicle decreases. But actually, we don't want the mileage of the vehicle decrease as the age increases. That is, we don't want the system response to change when any other parameter of the system changes. The system response should change only when the input changes. That is, a good system should be less sensitive with respect to change in any other parameter of the system. So now we are done with this example and now we know that the sensitivity is a measure of change in system response with respect to the change in input or any other parameter of the system. And a good system should be more sensitive with respect to the change in input and it should be less sensitive with respect to change in any other parameter. In control systems, we mainly study the sensitivity of a system with respect to parameter variations. So now we will discuss the sensitivity with respect to any parameter k and it is defined as stk equal to percentage change in t over percentage change in k. stk is defined as the sensitivity of t with respect to k and that is why it is equal to percentage change in t over percentage change in k. That is the change in t when we are changing k that is the parameter of system and it is equal to del t over t multiplied with 100 in percentage over del k over k multiplied with 100 in percentage. And if we solve this, we will get stk equal to k by t over del t by del k. And this is the sensitivity of t with respect to k. So now we are done with the introduction of sensitivity of control system. We will now discuss the sensitivity of an open loop system. We discuss the sensitivity of an open loop system with respect to GS, that is, the gain of the system. If this is an open loop system in which RS is the input, CS is the controlled output, and GS is the gain of system, then the transfer function T is equal to G, which is equal to C by R, that is, the controlled output over reference input. We don't always write CS over RS, we can also write C over R. Now, if we want to define the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to gain of the system, then it will be defined as STG, which is equal to G by T over del T by del G. This expression signifies the overall percentage change in T with respect to percentage change in G, that is the gain of system. 
But in open loop system, the gain is only the transfer function. So we can say t is equal to g. And that is why del t will also be equal to del g. And that's why the sensitivity is equal to 1. And that's why we can say that an open loop system is fully sensitive with respect to variations in gain of system. That is, even if the input is constant, any change in gain of system will be reflected in the output. In this way, we are done with the sensitivity of an open loop system. We will now move on to the sensitivity of a closed loop system. This is a closed loop system in which GS is the forward path gain and HS is the feedback path gain, RS is the reference input and CS is the controlled output. Now we have two blocks and that's why we will have two different parameters. And that's why in a closed loop system, we study the sensitivity with respect to two different parameters. Number one is the sensitivity with respect to change in forward path gain, GS. And number two is the sensitivity with respect to change in feedback path gain, HS. Sensitivity with respect to change in forward path gain is called as STG. And the sensitivity with respect to change in feedback path gain is STH. We will discuss and derive the expressions of STG and STH in the upcoming lectures. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.